Hey guys and welcome to Facebook Friday. My name is Eric Hammond of the Orange Stack and I'm glad you're here today. Thanks for watching and thanks for tuning in every Friday morning at 10 a.m. Pacific time as we go live and we show you guys how to do different things with your business, how to stay motivated as a real estate agent and really just how to bring your business to the next level. So if you've been following along the last couple of weeks, we've been talking really about you know setting intentions and goals and preparing for 2019. It's just around the corner. It's almost 60 days away. So what do you guys have been doing over the last 30 days as, as we've talked about the next 90 days of your life? And preparing for the fourth quarter and just rocking this time of your life right guys 2019 is going to be epic for a lot of real estate agents who do the right thing if you've noticed the market's changing it's slowing down it's doing different things and other agents are struggling they're having a hard time keeping up so what are you going to do to outpace everyone to set new goals to hit your levels and to just make 2019 and the rest of this year unbelievable so if you've been following along or you haven't go check out those videos you maybe need to watch them again uh, it's basically just our live content on this channel and then you can obviously check out the link below for our youtube channel and see some of the other content that we've shared about this same subject but today i want to talk about your dreams and your goals and don't get all like artsy artsy on me here and worry about what we're going to talk about. Just know that I want to talk to you about never giving up, right? You guys have set goals, you've set intentions, you have these big scary dreams that you've come up with in your life. And a lot of you will get 30 days, 60 days, 45 days, 90 days into it and say, you know what? This is hard. This is tough to keep going. It's tough to have this momentum. It's hard to keep doing the things that I've set up in my life. We talked about how a habit can often take 120 days to set up and, and really implement in your life. But if you fall short of that and you, and you fail and you fall in your face and you have a hard time with it how do you get yourself back up and never give up and just keep going and going and going guys i've been through a lot of hard times in my life i've i struggled with a lot of things in life i barely got out of high school i mean honestly if you go back and look at my high school i barely passed like it came down to me taking one final and i think i got a d plus on it and if it was a d minus i would have not graduated like it came down to that close so there are things in my life that I've struggled with. I've had businesses that have failed. I've been laid off from big companies, uh, downsized, right? Like during the recession, that's what got me into real estate. I was fired, let go from one of the biggest jobs I've ever had, one of the biggest salaries that I've ever had pre doing things on my own. Um, and it sucked, it rocked my world. And for nine months, I couldn't find any work. And it just took me down, right? Emotionally, everything, it was, it was tough. But I got back up and I got my feet in it again and I kept going. And that's the message that I want to share with you guys today is when you understand your goals and you have that real intention and you see the direction that you want to go, I'm going to point this way, is you see the direction that you want to go, you have to have a clear image of how you're going to get there, the actions that you need to take. I'm going through a training program, which I love right now, called Wake Up Warrior. If you've never heard of it, Google it. It's unbelievable. Uh, but one of the things I like about it is they talk about really understanding what the next 90 days of your look like and what it's going to look like. So you have to paint that picture. They talk about the facts, you know, specific numbers. If you're trying to lose weight, what's the goal that you set? You know, how many pounds do I want to weigh? If I if I want to sell a certain amount of homes every single month, what's that number? Don't just say I want to sell more homes. Say I want to sell five more homes this month, or I want to sell 20 more homes this year, or whatever that number is. Have it written down. Have it clear. So have your actual factual what it's going to look like in 90 days write that down and then write down the feelings that you have from this so how does it feel to have accomplished these goals you know in 90 days when i reach my number and i sell 20 more homes uh over the next 90 days or whatever that number is how does it feel you know when i wake up in the morning how do i feel about work at the end of the day do i feel like i did a good job how does it feel knowing that you accomplished your goals so you can kind of start mentally preparing for how you're going to feel at the end of these 90 days and then it talks about the actions that you need to take what are the things that you need to do in your life to actually sell 20 more homes Homes, right? Do I need to call on a uh, hundred more people a day? Do I need to go knock more doors? Do I need to send more mailers? Do I need to follow up with people in my database that I've worked with before? What are the things that you need to do so that in 90 days you can say, yeah, I did that and and it happened right so as you're going through these 90 days of your life and you're wrapping up 2018 or whatever you watch this video if you're in the middle of this 90 days and you're thinking how can i rock this quarter what does that 90 days from now look like what are the things that you need to do in your life to get there what does it feel like when you wake up on the 90th day from now and say i made it i did it and i didn't give up i tried because once you have this vision and you see clearly what you need to do every day 
you won't give up because you know it's just a map that you need to follow, right? If you're on a road trip from LA to New York and you get to Kansas, do you make a left or a right? No, you go straight. The map says go straight, you go straight. So if day 45, you're in the middle and you wake up and you're like, man, this is a hard day. I got rocked, I lost the listing, that buyer said I'm done with you, the contract fell through, the financing fell apart, whatever happening at you at that moment in time, whatever it is, family, business, life, who cares? Wake up that day, pull out your map, the goals that you wrote down, the clear directions that you have, and say, you know what? I need to just keep going. I need to follow the course. I need to stay straight. I can't make a left or a right today. I have to stay straight. I have to keep going because that's gonna get you through those 90 days. It's gonna get you to that next level. And at 90 days, you're gonna look back and say, crap, I can't believe all the things that I accomplished. I can't believe where I was 90 days ago and where I am today. The next 90 days are gonna be even easier. And you wipe that board, that map clean, and you write it out again. What do the next 90 days look like? What am I gonna look like in 90 days from today? What am I gonna feel like in 90 days from today? And you're gonna have and understand this so much better because you have gone through the last 90 days and it's just another step and another step and another step to get there so guys don't give up i know you're gonna fall down you're gonna fall on your face you're gonna have issues all the stuff that comes up you've been through it before you can do it again guys when i was brand new in real estate a week before i even got my real estate license i met with tom ferry and he shook my hand and he said don't become a statistic don't become the 87 percent of real estate agents who are out of business within 12 months. And I know a lot of you have been in real estate for more than 12 years, but no matter where you are, don't let something happen to you so that you become a statistic and you're out of business. Keep going, keep getting up, keep doing it. I know you can do it. It's the end of the year. It's so easy to become passive in your business to just say, you know what? I worked my butt off all year long. It's my time to break. It's not because every other real estate agent is saying the same thing. So keep going, keep doing it, keep reaching those goals, keep setting those habits and patterns in place that you've been setting up and make this an unbelievable year. Get through this fall and winter that's coming because as you can rock through these next couple months of a, of a challenging fall and whatever's coming in the real estate market in your area, you'll be prepared for great things to come. Guys, I know this is super motivational and sometimes we get really technical and actions to take and specific things in social marketing and your real estate business, but I hope you followed along and you watched this whole video. And if you did, thanks for being here. I really appreciate it. And I really enjoy talking about this content. I really enjoy being here for you guys and, and rallying the troops and motivating you. Sometimes you just need a kick in the pants, right? And keep going. So keep it up. You can do it. Um, we've got some really great content and not quite ready to talk about it yet, but we just released a new product yesterday that's going to DIY your marketing for you and help you figure out what you're doing so that you can really understand how to bring in the leads and keep your business afloat when times get tough and, and things get busy. So until next time, next Friday, uh, we're going to keep doing this show live every Friday morning, 10 a.m. Pacific. Pacific. We really appreciate you guys being here. And if you're catching it on the replay, share this with somebody. You're probably watching it on YouTube or some other format somewhere else. Share this with somebody who needs that kick in the pants that says, you know what? Get up. You fell down. Get back up and do this again. Share this video with somebody. Comment, you know, what you learned from it. And uh, thanks for being here, guys. We really appreciate it. And we'll see you on the next one.